how to practice meditation, ways to meditate, mindfulness, beginner meditation, self-confidence. A Course in Miracles does a great job of helping us realize the power of the universe, the power of all that there is, however you want to describe it. Especially with beginner meditation, please understand that your mindfulness sessions are not for show or to impress anyone. There is no right or wrong way for how to practice meditation. Mindfulness meditation is where you privately reach your inner core and deeply rest and relax. Hello everyone, my name is James Nussbaumer, and as I discuss in my first book of the series called The Master of Everything, A Story of Mankind in the World of Illusion We Call Life, as I discuss here, before I begin a mindfulness meditation session, I like to think of the areas where I'm feeling some scarcity mentality in myself, or some incompleteness or incompetence, or, or something I'm having difficulty with that leaves me feeling uncomfortable, stressed out, or anxiety and fear going on, or insecure about my life and the world itself. It might be a relationship issue, maybe, or a career problem, financial stress, or any of the other problems that we as, as humans are up against every day. For example, I'm finding many of my readers are benefiting from yoga weight loss. But how to practice meditation or ways to meditate is truly based on the results that you want. In Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, my second book of the series, which, by the way, I have right here in the, right uh, in front of me, Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, Lessons from A Course in Miracles. I discuss often that there are times I find it difficult to reach that state of calm or quietness of mind where everyday miracles are truly manifested. It is necessary for me so, so that I can get in touch with my own creativity. It's all about learning the law of attraction for miracles in your life. More on ways to meditate is, is considering first the ego-based chatter that's going on in my mind is what I will do. And then, and then that's sent to my brain. It seems to wind me up like a, as tight as a rope, disturbing my quiet and calm state of mind. For you, try to narrow it down for yourself as to why and how to practice meditation for the results that you want. In other words, when contemplating ways to meditate, what is your weak areas and what is your true free will? You know, your purpose in life, what it is you really want. Next, think of an area or areas about which you feel pretty good or, or secure, and, you know, a certain positive or confidence level, an area where your confidence is up, or even in your professionalism. Things may be going right or maybe not going so well. For me lately, it has been an unusual surge of inner strength and, and motivation that, that led me to writing, to my writing goals, even while I was in prison for those long eight years. This keeps me inspired, and now that I have a personal editor my, and also a friend, Carol, in her kind guidance, I've learned much about my own writing ability in the, in the little time that uh, it has greatly improved and, and on to success with my two books I just have shown you. You know, I feel surges of inspiration that I, that I know are infinite and of eternal bliss. It's of the power of the universe, certainly. But how to practice meditation in my own mind was how I landed Carol in Sarasota, Florida for editing my work, a woman I'd never known before while I was in an Ohio prison. It's an amazing story that's told in both of these books. And our friendship and business relationship continues to this day. It's amazing. Was it a miracle or was it potluck? I'll let you decide. You know, also there's to consider uh, what's called a deep sleep now mindfulness that you can find at my blog. And by the way, the, the, the corresponding blog to this video is in the description box of this YouTube video if you're watching this from YouTube right now. But at times, however, you know, I feel short on the calm and, uh, and quietness of mind that I need with all the distractions that the world offers us. Every day, there's something that seems to distract us. And, you know, this, this calm, 
calmness that I need is important to me because it supports my strength. It supports my, my ongoing daily writing. It, but keep in mind that these areas often change for all of us. And when they do, we simply bring to our minds, once again, areas of the abundance that we want to draw from or we can say align with. How to practice meditation for myself as well as the daily lessons from A Course in Miracles aligning to the power of the universe and its infinite supply so that I may draw from it and extend to others all around the world. Yes, extend to the minds of others everywhere. In turn, I receive from their power as I give. Of course, my own supply of this inner strength and inner power may differ more or less from the degree from the degree of others that the others have to offer me. Likewise, the forms of strength or peace or joy or other inner qualities differ in all of us. But this is why the Holy Spirit, our inner divine guide, but termed as the Holy Spirit, using the traditional terms A Course in Miracles likes to use. The Holy Spirit sorts it out and matches it up, matches everything up that we need, and he brings it to us. Also remember that in no way, for example, he brought Carol to me. He brought Carol to me. So there's the power of the universe at work. While I was in prison to get these books edited and off to a publisher. So, but also remember that in no way will it decrease my own supply when I give it. On the other hand, I'm confident that I will receive from the power of the universe the exact and specific form of calm and quietness that I ask for. So if you're chuckling a little bit over this, you know, how can we communicate with others around the world mindfully, there's a part of you that may be chuckling over this in disbelief, but if that's so, just accept it as an, an antic of your own ego. And if you're serious about how to practice meditation, Please stay with me for a moment here. A Course in Miracles states, the ego makes no attempt to understand this, and it is clearly not understandable. But the ego does make every attempt to demonstrate it, and this it does constantly. Those are words from the principles of A Course in Miracles. But by staying with it, the ego will tire and fade out of the picture in due time. The point is to stay above and beyond the ego in all that you do, especially when you're attempting meditation. If you cannot, if you just simply are struggling with this and the ego is just interfering and has the ego's interference in you is just too extreme, well, don't worry about it. Don't fret. Just try again a little bit later. And that's exactly what I had often done, especially in my beginning medita meditation stages while I was in prison with all the anxiety and the volatile and often violent din of the cell block going on around me. But as I stayed with it, I eventually became aligned to my true calling. You have not failed as long as you're in, you, you will, I'm sorry, you will not have failed as long as your intent and confidence level is there. And then, and, and that you're truly honest with yourself. If so, then, then that in itself is so pure. It's pure knowledge. Time will set the ego aside, and time is a tool that the Holy Spirit uses while we're in this world. You know, if you feel the urge for more information on mindfulness or uh, a topic related here, once again, check out the blog. The link is in the description box of the YouTube video. And to, here's to mindfulness and for a better life for everyone that's listening to this. But keep in mind that not all times when we sit down to have a mindfulness meditation, that are we going to be successful because of the distractions in the world that I had just mentioned. And as I had already stated, that's okay. Don't let that bother you because if you let it bother you, that's just the ego sneaking in the back door on you or sneaking up on you. So you just need to let it go, drop it, and come back later. If you've enjoyed this thought-provoking video, please click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to subscribe to my Everyday Miracles Mastermind Newsletter, 
The link to my safe website is in the description box once again here at YouTube. And if you're already at my blog, there's plenty of areas here on the blog that are offering you a subscription to my Everyday Miracles newsletter. And uh, I hope you decide to, to live in this world by mindfulness, being in tune with your mind, being aligned with, with the universe, you know, having the confidence level that you really need. Consider learning more about how to practice meditation. It's truly, truly an amazing gift. And I always like to add, if you're, if you would, if you just continue extending yourself, the own natural gifts that you possess inside, extending that onto the world, you're, you're in for just a great life ahead of you. Extension is the creation. Keep on extending. Thanks for listening to me, and I hope to see you maybe at an event somewhere. Thanks again, and God bless.